Doctor, why didn't you press the button? Mm? I mean, one life to save millions it makes sense. Because I used to be that guy. You mean you're the monk? Huh? He was you all along? No, but not far off. I was once a man with a master plan. Oh. I'd seek out injustices, topple governments, all in the name of a greater good. I'd started doing the maths, you see. The maths? This is how evil starts. With the belief that the ends justify the means. But once you start down that road, there's no turning back. What if you can save a million lives, but you have to let ten people die? Or a hundred? Or a hundred thousand? Where do you stop? But you did. You did stop. I did. But by then, I'd ended up traveling alone. Because I couldn't trust myself with anyone's life. Well, not after... Not after... Not saying. Okay. Then what was it that made you realize it was time to change from lonely bean counter to companionable time traveler? A new body. A clean slate, a fresh start. From that day on, I knew I never would again countenance the death of a single living being. That's why I no longer travel alone. Why? So I could never forget how precious a single life is. <laughs> That's why you have companions. What, to keep you in check? It's not the only reason. Look, you can stay here. Sit this one out if you want. I'll come back for you when I'm done. Get off! I thought you'd had enough of me. But I'm not sure what I think right now. But as of this moment, you're my lift home, so I'm sticking to you like glue. Besides, you said yourself, you need me to keep you on the straight and narrow.